PTSD. As I said, I made more projects using these dies from KS Craft. And I share my journal with you, which is this one right here, right? So for this one, I used the dies and I made the pages and I made this bookmark and this little suitcase, right? So if you like these dies and or you bought it, I'm going to give you more ideas on how to use them. And I made two more projects, but I'm not going to make tutorials today. It's just a video share. So I'm going to show you my first project using um, these dies. And this is how it looks. It's another um, journal. But in this one, I... Um, use a different kind of binder this one is a binder from dollar tree it is only one dollar and it has a three rings right here and i adjusted the pages um to make these um three holes and place it up here and the binder from dollar tree it comes with plastic and it was a uh, very very simple so I made a make cover on this one, on the binder, and I um, took away the plastic thing and I used the chipper and the ring. And as you can see, it looks very, very nice, like a regular journal, right? So I made um, these pockets right here. So you can um, put your stuff, for example, this one is the suitcase that I made and it's uh, exactly the same as the other one okay you open and then you have this one right here for your notes see and this is the back and right here i didn't uh, use the bookmark but i made these um kind of tags and this one is from dollar tree as well it comes eight and i use a paper from in love arts which is this one and it's so shabby and beautiful and I'm going to put a link in the description box as well as, as uh, the links of the dice okay that you you can see up here so I just use that paper collection and all these tags that are so super beautiful with um, gold tones it comes in the paper see this one is a cutout that comes with a paper and right here in this page, as you can see, I, I'm giving you ideas on how to make a pocket on this die. See, right here, look. I just fussy cut um, the image right here and made a pocket, see? So you can uh, put a tag in there. And same as the next page right here. All of these special pages that I used um, dice for journals i made a pocket see so it's a very nice way to use those dice and as you can see it has some mats right here for pictures and then here is another of the dice that has a pocket and this is a cutout that comes with a paper and then um, here is the envelope, which is another set of dice, and I just put um, one of the cutouts on top, and this is how it looks. And right here, see, I, I fussy cut again, another of the beautiful images, and then I put a tag, and this is the paper. And this is another of the dies that I used. And yeah, this is how it looks on the on the side. And you can just slide anything right here. See your papers and keep it in there. Or you can add more uh, mats to put it in there. See, you can use this one as a journal, mini album, or you can even make a planner. Now, here, uh, I made these flowers. Um, using a punch and um, this is from in love arts it's a beautiful frame it cuts both okay it cuts the shadow and this one 
to put it on top and this one right here is from a card that i bought at dollar tree it was 50 cents and um it was a, a for a wedding but i, I really love what it said so i just um bought that one to put it on top then some laces from my stash and this is a uh, lace from in love arts i just put right here two rows of that lace and yeah it's so so beautiful see and here is the other project that i made using those dies as you can see um this one is a traveler's notebook it's a vintage style and i use the um, and I use the stickers and ephemera that I received from KS Craft. And as you can see, it has lace, buttons, and right here, I had this one in my stash, a metal, and I just put a title that says Journey. So this one, I decorated this way, as you can see, see, um, I use the dice right here, and I, I use the elastic to put right here three sections as you can see right here three signatures and um, I just uh, cut this one folded so I could uh, pass it through the elastic see and this one is folded too so I made a pocket right here and in this pocket I have uh, two large tags that you can use for pictures, see, and, and I just put a ribbon and a button, this is from um, KS Craft, and this one too, I use the words and the stickers, so you will see how I decorate it with those, then right here I made a pocket, and it has two more um, tags that are very simple, and then right here, on this side i use the sticker then um right here stickers and it looks so so vintage it was very easy to decorate this one and these are uh papers that i tea dyed so i put right here for journaling then right here more stickers here too then again two more pages and those um, stickers are so super beautiful. See, more space for a picture. It can be a large picture and something right here for journaling. Then right here, space for a picture. And here is the, um, and here is the other side of the die, see? So, right here i decorated with more um stickers and as you can see in the next signature i used um another die from the journal dies and this one it was only one piece and i folded on the side and right here i made a pocket it looks very retro and vintage that's why i use it this way and right here it has um, more stickers, paper, more stickers right here. And right here, then more paper. Then I use more stickers. So I put a lot of pages so you can put uh, pictures and journaling was very very uh fun i couldn't stop until i finish <laughs> and this is another die see and right here a place for a picture more pictures paper and this one has room right here to put a large picture see And then this one right here you can put two pictures here one large one here and this is the other side of the die more pictures and right here I made a pocket with another one of these dies As you can see it has room up here for the 
small uh, tags and right here for big um, mats or tags see so this one um, it's a traveler's notebook and or can be a journal but it's a traveler's notebook style and I will make a, a tutorial of this one too giving you the measurements and you know what for this one I use a file folder and because you use paper on top here and here and also with this thing it, it's very strong so it was very very um, nice to use a file folder so you can make one of these and it's very easy to make one of these see and stay tuned because I'm going to post a video on how to do the makeover to a um, Dollar Tree binder see and check in the description box for all the links of the supplies that I use thank you very much for watching my videos for your likes your comments and for subscribing to my channel have a blessed day everyone bye bye